What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing, man? I can't believe I'm even doing a video about this. I mean, it's 2020, and we still got people that used to turn the ton system from Marvel, Marvel.com, Marvel Wiki, uh, as actually literal. Like, I thought by now everybody should understand these terms should be taken literal, but evidently we still got people out there that's not really well informed, or some people don't really understand how little bit this weight is. These people call these tonner class people. Like, okay, this is the thing. I, know, I get that everybody's not a power scaler. I get that. I get everybody doesn't understand, you know, people don't do all the calculations to numbers and stuff, but like, like I'm not like a huge calculator myself either, but it just, it doesn't take much intellect to understand that the ton system shouldn't be taken literally considering all the feats they have, unless you just want to say all their feats are not like there. You just want to ignore their feats. I mean, we got characters like Captain America. What? They call him a peak human because of super soldier serum. I mean, do you honestly think he's a peak human? Like, what peak human do you know can bust out of large blocks of ice? I don't care what kind of peak human strip, but I don't even think the strongest man in the world can rep 1,100 pounds for reps like an actual exercise. They might be doing one rep max. Could literally pull down a mini helicopter with his raw strength. I mean, what peak human do you know has combat speed to dodge a bullet mid-flight? Explaining that he can actually dodge bullets and it is right in 10. He can see faster. What peak human can do stuff like this? The fastest guy in the world can't do this. The best reflexes in the world can't do this. And then you got the people that, you know, want to call Spider-Man a 10-tonner. I mean, how many times do I have to debunk this? Spider-Man a 10-tonner? Yet he can lift tanks that weigh up to 60 freaking tons? I guess this tank doesn't weigh 60 tons, right? The people that, that want to call Spider-Man a 10-tonner at best, do you know how much a tank weighs? Like, this is not this is not more than a 10-ton feet. Do you see Spider-Man down there? I think I see Spider-Man right there, if my, I'm mistaken. Is that Spider-Man or am I just seeing things? I, I'm just saying. I mean, come on, guys. You can literally type on Google, tanks weight. It literally says weight of tanks. It can weigh 50 tons and 75 short tons with 65 tons being a common approximation. Come on now. You can even go to Wikipedia and look up tank classifications. Yeah, tanks like this. Main battle tank. Even the very first short tanks weighed 28 tons. Are you kidding me? Like, that's that's even, even if we assume he lifted tanks that weighed this least. That's still way more than 10 tons. Not to mention Spider-Man can do this. Not to mention he can literally flick a train card. Flick with a finger, like his finger. But he can only lift 10 tons? Come on, guys. You don't have to be a power scaler to understand this is false. You sure you still believe he's only a 10-tonner? Do you realize how weak Thor would be if he was really only a 100-tonner? That means he would only technically be, like Spider-Man, we literally seen Spider-Man lift 50 or 60 tons. You say you think Thor is only approximately two times stronger than Spider-Man? Come on, do you see how that doesn't make any sense? Literally, he can only lift 100 tons? You think Thor can only lift 100 tons? Come on, guys. Thor can literally move or pull a planet-sized snake, Midgard Serpent. Thor is literally strong enough to move a planet-sized snake. I'm not exaggerating. Look how big this snake is, guys. It literally goes around the planet. Yeah, you see that? You see that? I guess this is only 100 ton of feet, right? If we just approximately use this feet alone, like, man, if we compare this to, like, Spider-Man and them, like, there's a large gap between Thor-level characters and Spider-Man-level characters when it comes to physical strength, guys. To you, 10 tonners, Spider-Man, and the 100 tonner Thor sounds like a large gap to you, but that's really not that large of a gap. I mean, we've seen Thor match characters like the Hulk, and uh, isn't Hulk one of those characters that's considered a 100 tonner class, quote-unquote, he's supposedly a quote-unquote 100, 100 ton classer, right? Can you please explain to me if the Hulk and Thor are only 100 ton class beings, how is the Hulk lifting 150 billion tons? So 100 tons equals 150 billion tons now? Does it? I mean, am I am I drunk or something or do I not know math? Do you know some math? I don't. I'm just I'm just asking. But recent comics started to make the thing a lot stronger than normal. The thing is 75 ton class. You think the thing's limit is 75 ton class? So if the thing is only 75 ton class, how is he able to overpower a mechanism that was going to literally drill through the planet? So you think it only takes 100 tons of force to drill through a planet? 100 tons of force. That would mean to drill through a planet, That would only need you would only need the weight of two of these to like drill through the planet. So you think you think the thing overpowering something that can drill through the planet will only, you know, that's only 100 ton feet, right? You think That's what you think? You think he's only 100 ton, 75 ton class? That's easily like sextillions or quadrillions of tons of force needed to drill through the planet. I mean, I guess we could just stack two tanks like this on top of each other and we could drill through the planet, right? No, seriously. If the thing is only 75 ton class, like you say, it can only lift 75 tons, literally 75 tons, then that means only the weight of of two of these tanks can is enough force to drill through the planet, right? If he's only a 75 ton or 100 ton class, right? Yeah, right. The thing overpowers something that was going to drill through the planet. Come on, guys. 
there's literally limitless examples of this, but I don't want to make this video too long. I just want to get straight to the point. Point in case, the 75-ton system should not be taken literally. Okay, you remember Marvel Wiki, the website everybody got this ton system from and everybody clings to it? Marvel started it. The actual Marvel comics started this system in the comic books. And then the Marvel Wiki kind of start, kept the trend going about the ton system. But even they say on their website that these numbers should not be taken literally because we literally, I just literally showed you the whole lifting 150 billion tons. But he's only a 100 ton class system. It's only for comparison purposes only. They even say it themselves on Marvel database. They state it right here. It should be noted that these values are strictly there for official comparing different characters in relation to each other and not remotely to be taken literally. For example, certain characters who have been listed 95 or 100 tons at some point have demonstrated planetary level strength. Even they know planetary level strength is takes more than 100 tons of power. And even Spider-Man has moved thousands of tons in occasion. You see what I'm saying? It's not as much weight as you think. Not trying to come off as a butthole or anything, but I've had people in the comment section or even try to debate me to say Namor is can't lift 160,000 tons because, oh, he's only stated being the 500 ton class at best or 100 ton class with Hulk and him. I'm like, all of them can lift way more than 100 tons. I'm just confused. Like, people still believe they, they're taking those numbers literally? How can we assume Namor can only lift 100 tons at best when he's seen him physically match it out or fight characters like Hulk in a fist fight? How can somebody with that large of a gap to Hulk who has lifted 150 billion tons or weights of a star's in the past do this you know what i mean can somebody explain to me if the hulk can lift 150 billion and namor can only lift 100 tons at best how is he able to fight somebody that's this much stronger than him in a good fight and overpower him on in this occasion underwater make sure you guys post or tag any friends that still believe in this ton system to be literally it's scans like this that really confuse the public is when they compared the hulk and gray hulk to each other green hulk to gray hulk like they they stated that he could lift 100 times that much here and they they thought that's that's they meant by it. that's his minimum like because the whole way is a thousand pounds roughly and he said he can lift a hundred or two hundred times that much and they thought it was like the hundred tons like people got that confused that's not what they meant i mean if great hulk was literally only in the what 75 ton range in raw strength how can somebody with this much physical strength bust an asteroid that's literally two times the size of earth so i guess Two tanks stacked on top of each other is the force needed to bust something this big with strength, right? Planning busting force can only can be attained with 100 tons of force, evidently? Or, come on now. I know lifting strength and striking strength is different, but Hulk gets his striking strength from his super strength, a.k.a. lifting strength. That's why I'm using this as an example. I mean, guys, do I have to keep doing this? I mean, you got characters like Spider-Man that can lift Ferris wheels, characters like Eddie Brock, Venom that fight, Spider-Man can lift Ferris wheels. I guess uh, supporting the weight of a building is only 100 tons too, right? I know the Spider-Man can't lift the whole building. I'm just saying like, hey, he supported the weight of a building. That's 100 tons or 10. He's a 10-tonner, right? He's a 10-tonner, right? Spider-Man can lift over 100 tons, guys. It's all of this was just a myth. It's just only for debating purposes and comparing one to another, even though I wouldn't have chosen that number system from Marvel. So if I had to actually make real estimations on how strong these guys actually are, like with legit numbers... These are I'm gonna give you a bare minimum numbers. Like, of course, these are not gonna be their maxes because I, I still believe a lot of these characters can lift more than this. But I'm just gonna give bare minimum numbers for the confusion, like real numbers to give you an accurate idea of how strong these characters actually are. If I had to be honest, Captain America more than likely can lift five to ten tons, including his leg strength. If I'm being honest, like the accurate numbers. More accurately, Spider-Man probably can lift 200 or even up to 350 tons at minimum. Like, but, I'm, but by the way, guys, I'm not making this stuff up. This is stuff based on my page and my perception of the feats I have. I have feats and videos about all this stuff. So give a great look at my video about a lot of these characters. There's a reason why I think this is not just my first video about this. I just want to break down that class system and how it's false. I mean, even if we don't see the characters do an actual lifting feat like this, based on the people they fight, the strength level needed to do some of the stuff they do, it would have to be in these ranges. Even characters like She-Hulk in her sensational days who supposedly only in the 75 ton class is leagues above 75 tons if i was being honest based on the rank she is she would probably be in the able to lift 100 trillions of tons it, it, this is minimum she probably lift more than that like based on all the feats i've had for her and her new form i'm not even counting in this actual thing the things feet fighting characters like throw all the time if we're being honest he probably can lift 900 septillions of tons hey, i have a feat run on him too you can check that video out too i have proof of this stuff by the way on his strength and why I think he's this strong. I mean, yeah, that's just to give you a little idea of why the class system I think is just completely not logical. Like, it's it, they just didn't need it. They don't need to use that word ton because people think the ter term ton in that class system is be taken literally. These guys have feats on these levels like this. Like, I mean, characters like Thor. I mean, he fought the Hulk. I mean, he should easily be in the. 
octillions of tons rated. We see Thor like have the power to withstand black holes. We know he can hurt himself. All this yada yada yada. I'm just saying these. I'm just blurting out random numbers. Like if I was to be honest on where how much they really can live. I mean the things should more than likely probably be closer to Thor. I'm just giving out random numbers. I don't think it's a huge huge mega gap between Thor and the thing. Yeah, that's how strong the thing is. By the way, for those that didn't know. Yeah, all of these characters. Yeah, Spider Man is way above. He can lift way more than ten tons. He probably can lift way more than a hundred tons. Captain America can lift five tons probably with his legs strength and his feats and his shield being able to throw two tanks she hulk being able to fight some hero level being some time to time arm wrestle kid is like hercules and craziness like that freaking the thing and overpower hydraulic press that was gonna drill through the planet it just doesn't make no sense on why they the ton system should be literal at this point like but what do you guys think did you guys know this did you think this debunk was needed i didn't think i would ever make a debunk like this because i thought everybody knew this in 2020 it's 2020 everybody should know this by now but Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this informed you. And if you guys want to see more proof of how strong these characters are and don't think I'm just, you think I'm just crazy and, and a maniac. And I got videos about pretty much all these characters on this to pretty much prove my point and my reasoning on why these characters are this strong. And I just showed you proof in this video of that too. So I even showed you feats in this video. So what, what more is it? But what do you guys think? Did I close all the filters? I hope so. No, I don't want to have to make another video about this, but I will to, to get the in comic ignorance. No offense to anybody that still believes in this ton system. I know you probably didn't really pay attention to the actual calculations, but it doesn't take rocket science to know that characters like the Thor aren't just two times stronger than Spider-Man. Like, two times? I mean, that's a big gap in real life. But, like, okay, if somebody's stronger than you by two times in real life, you your punches still can harm them. Like, you can punch them in the face, and that would still hurt. You know what I mean? The gap isn't that big. I mean, it's big, but it's not that big. You know what I mean? So... That's something you got to consider when it comes to that. Like, does that logically make sense for him to only be two times stronger? What is lifting 150 billion tons only two times heavier than 100 tons? Like, come on, you see how that doesn't add up. But I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you post the comments down below, with thoughts and opinions and everything. Welcome. Make sure you have those playlists and stuff in the description. Playlist, playlist, playlist. That's my bread and butter on the channel. I'll see you guys next time.